There are certain things about children, spiritual children, that you can easily find from God's word, and you notice they are alike in the natural world. See? They are like the natural world. Children can be, you know, the sheep and the goats, they behave alike when they're young. Very jumpy. But as they grow, the sheep is submissive. The goat is resistant. Did you ever pull a goat with a rope on its neck? Always doing like this one. Especially the ram, uh, the, the he goat, that one that stinks. Very resistant. And you keep dragging it. But the, the sheep or the ram, you put the rope, it follows you. It follows you. Not resisting, not fighting back. Many times when we are fighting back, it tells us, if we were sheep, then we are still lambs. We are still young. We are acting differently. We are acting not as a mature person in the things of God. The more you grow in Christ, the more submissive to Him you become. And then, it is easier for you to also recognize Him, to see Him in people. But when you are a child, you don't know. So your language is different. Your language is harsh. Even sometimes there are leaders who have not grown spiritually. They may be leaders. That you are a leader in the house of God doesn't mean that you are spiritually mature. It's a pity. It should be the other way. But sometimes, people are handpicked who haven't grown spiritually. I can give you a simple example. That I tell pastors, in the congregation, you have to express respect the Bible says treat the young ladies as what your sisters the young men as your brothers the older women as mothers the older men as fathers that's what it says now when you come sometimes you're not even the pastor you're just leading a, a song or you 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 are reading the rhapsody to us or something. And you say, now everybody must stand up. Everybody. I say everybody. Sometimes even the pastor of the church is there. And here's this person saying, everybody must stand up. Everybody. Who in the world do you think you are? That's a manifestation of childishness. You're not mature in the things of God. Your language changes. If you're an usher, I said, don't sit today. I have warned you, don't sit there. <laughs> then you hold your Bible like this. All the reading of the scripture, no one is entering your head. They're just holding your Bible like this. You are pretending. God's children can be instructed in wisdom and in love. If you say, sister, please don't sit here. Someone else is coming. I will, I will help you get a chair now. Eh, okay. But when you say, don't, <coughs> don't sit there. Move to the house. Move. Ah, ah, what is it? Trouble has come. Ah, ah what is it? Ah. Is it not church? I said, move there. He said, I, I will sit here. I will sit here. Hey. <laughs> now she said, I will sit here. Do your worst. You are trying me. 
all in the house of God. When you grow up, you walk in love. I said your language will change. Oh, sister, please. This chair is for somebody. Can I help you get another one? Ah. That's the natural. You won't be, For what? Please, don't be, don't be offended. Please, let me help you. We have to deal with people as though they are something. Because they are. And only when you mature in Christ do you see that God is in every one of them. As they came to church, God came to church in them. You see it? But when you don't know it, you think they came to look for God. No, God's children come with God. They don't come to look for God. They don't come to look for God. They come with Him. He comes in them. And the moment you learn to treat people like that, you'll be amazed what the Holy Ghost will be doing in your life. Things will begin to change in your business, in your finances, in your marriage, in your home. You'll be amazed. You say, just that thing, how is it connected? Oh, I will tell you. When you please God in a single act of righteousness, is challenged to boast to demons of darkness about you. That's the way God is. Once you do something as He wants you to, He begins to talk about you. He's just talking about you. He's excited about you. Walking in love is one of the hallmarks of Christian maturity. And you will see it, you will hear it in your language, in your, in your daily walk. The way you respect others, it means you have seen God. But when you haven't seen Him, you treat everybody like nonsense. Hello? Are you getting what I'm telling you? You see, when we close now, you see what will happen. As you are going through that place, you'll be going your own like this. <clears throat> You are coming from church. You are elbowing people. Excuse me. Mm, excuse me. Why? You are rushing to catch me. Mm-hmm. You are talking. To... God is not there. You are resisting God. Are you hearing me? Then the other one that was elbowed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The same mouth, you say, Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> Listen, what are you going to do? To be carnally minded, he says, what? Is death. But to be spiritually minded, it means seeing beyond your senses. Seeing beyond your senses. Seeing beyond your senses. When David came to the battlefront, a young man, he said to his brother, Eliab, he said, why is that man cursing the God of Israel? His brother said, what are you doing here? Come! Always proud. The other soldier said, what's wrong with you? What are you doing here? If they had known, you see, they could not see. They didn't see that there was an anointing with this young guy. They didn't see his future, that he was going to become king. They couldn't see. But look at Jesus in the temple, a little baby. Simeon sees. He's a prophet of God. He sees. He had said, Lord, don't let your servant die until he sees the redemption of Israel. Now the baby has been born. He's taken to the temple for dedication. Simeon goes there. He sees the baby. He worships. And he says, now let your servant die in peace. That's the problem with old men. I'll tell you about it later. An old woman came. Hannah. You know what? She saw the baby. And then prophesied too. 
and said, I'm going to tell everybody about him. An old woman gives her life to Christ and goes to preach it. An old man gives his life to Christ and prepares for death. You see it? Every elderly man in this place say, not me. Yes, you must be different. You must be different. The man saw Jesus. He said, now Lord, let your servant die in peace. My eyes have seen the redemption of Israel. I'm ready to die. The woman saw and said, I must tell everybody. Are you still there? You sure? Well, the man saw Jesus and knew who he was. Can you see a little child and know his future? It takes the anointing. It takes maturity in walking with God to know it. But no, you don't know it. You look at the child and kick him and throw him away. You look at everybody like nothing. No, if only you could see their future, you'd be excited. But you're not prayerful because you're a baby, so you don't, you don't care. But if you're, if you're praying and rejoicing in Christ, He'll begin to show you their future. And you pray again and you rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. You pray for that brother and that sister. Then God shows you their future. He says, when the Holy Ghost comes, He shall show you things to come. There may be a brother that offends you. You don't know why in the last five services he's just been sitting somewhere around you. Each time you want to move, I can't, I can't stand him. Then, an usher just comes and says, please, all of you shift that way. Then you, you shifted that. Now this brother has been moved to shift towards you. And God will say, get him a gift. <laughs> Let me tell you. Tell yourself, I will see God in people. Say it again, I will see God in people. Say, my eyes are open by God to see Him in people. When I look, I can see God in human beings. Father, I thank you for helping me to see their real value as you saw them when you sent Jesus to die in their place. I'm your partner in helping them discover who they really are. You believe that? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, I want you to pray. And you thank God. Let me tell you, your life is making progress. Amen. Yes, you are. Yes. You are making progress. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here tonight. You are making progress. Refuse to be carnally minded. See your future. It is bright. The Holy Ghost has given you victory. And you will walk in victory. Amen. Nothing is going to change that. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus.